Hey everybody, it's Stock Picks by Tim, and we've got a crazy week coming up here. We've got a lot of earnings coming up, and I'm going to get into this. Now, first off, we've got Lucid, and they are going to be reporting on Monday, February 28th, so tomorrow as of this upload. Now, moving over to the technicals, you do see the MACD looking bullish. The RSI is pointing up, working its way towards overbought, but not there yet. Now, we do have Lucid working on the support level here. We did break this level, and now we're going to try to hold it. If it can hold above and show... A little bit of strength here. I want to wait for earnings. I'm going to wait. I have gotten out of this one, as many of you know. Got in and out, made a decent profit, and, you know, luckily that was the right decision. Now I am currently waiting, uh, but I do see it as a potential time to get in. I, I would wait until their earnings, just to be sure. It's going to be important to see their numbers. And I might do a future video here about their earnings call, you know, like I like to do, a cut-up, edited earnings call shortened to the point, just the key points of it. So make sure you like and subscribe if you're interested in that. But you'll notice we are trying to hold over this $26 level. We did form this base here. We did break it. But, I mean, this is just the market condition. This is the market. This was, I think, a knee-jerk reaction, a bit of a panic with the Ukraine-Russia situation going on, conflict going on. And I do think we're going to try to hold over this level. But we do need a decent earnings. And, of course, earnings could just cause this to blast off and take off without me it is what it is but it if it has decent earnings some progress decent revenue then i will potentially be getting in and it just depends on kind of the reaction that the market gives this one so if earnings miss i will likely just leave this alone wait see where it kind of settles out at and if earnings beats and it starts taking off i will purchase it all the way up to about 28 likely but if it does get some green momentum why not ride that wave make a couple quick bucks potentially maybe even ride a call um, but that's how I'm potentially playing Lucid. I don't currently have it, but I did, got out, and now it's potentially looking like a buy if it can hold this support level. And if we have decent earnings, that is very important. Now next up, I want to talk about Workhorse. I haven't talked about this one in a while. I've quietly just been holding my shares. I've kept this to a small percentage of my portfolio because of its inherent risk. But I'm letting you know I am still holding. Now we did hit a base of about 260 and just quickly bounced from there. And you'll notice we have a lot of green candles, a green volume. We've got buyers coming in and you will notice if you zoom in that we did close above the 21, 13 and 8 day EMA. So that is bullish there. And also we've got the MACD continuing to curl up, a little bit of green coming in and the RSI pointing up. So will this continue? We will see. And their earnings is coming up Tuesday, March 1. They're going to set their earnings call at 10 o'clock, but their actual numbers are going to be coming out pre-market on Tuesday. And I might do a live stream on this one. Not sure yet. If I don't do a live stream, I'll just cut up the actual earnings call and, you know, give you the key points just like with Lucid. Now, if this does go good, this is going to keep our positive momentum on Workhorse. This could be set to take off considering how small of a market cap we're at. And that, you know, a lot of the negative news is already priced in. The recall, the just lack of any news. I mean, last time I covered this was a couple of weeks ago, and we really haven't had an update since, from what I can understand. From at least what I've found. I mean, when you go over to Workhorse's Facebook, you will see that their last post was January 27th. So they've been somewhat quiet, hopefully busy working in the background, but we'll see the progress on the earnings call. So definitely stay tuned to that on Tuesday pre-market. So if you see Workhorse start running on Tuesday, they likely had a decent earnings. Now, I'm not as concerned about the actual numbers they get as I am about listening to the call and hearing what management has to say about progress with recalls, any information on their drone portion of things, their new headquarters, of course, what's going on there, the progress being made there, and definitely going to be staying tuned for their workhorse earnings. This is going to be a big thing for workhorse. Now, one more stock you got to watch here is going to be Volta, VLTA, and their earnings is going to be coming up on Wednesday. So we've got Lucid Monday, Workhorse Tuesday, and Volta Wednesday. Now, looking at Volta's chart, you do see that we hit this base of about 370, 380, and then we started quickly coming up. We came up to about 450 before dropping back down. And you'll notice as of recently, we've got a lot of volume coming in selling. We are not able to hold over the three EMAs. And the RSI is pointing down, working its way towards oversold. Working its way towards oversold. Now, this one I'm currently just holding. I do see it as a buy. I'm just holding my position. I have a fully built out position. But if this does come back to the $3 level, I will potentially be adding in. I'm very excited to hear their earnings. But that's basically it for you guys. Next week's going to be a pretty big week for these three stocks. 
Could go either way, depending on how their earnings go, but you definitely want to stay tuned to that. Thanks as always, guys, and I will see you next time.